Closing the gap between real-world physicality and virtual experience requires not only rendering haptic sensations but also introducing user-generated physical forces into the virtual environment. Current VR and AR interfaces either completely ignore force inputs from users, or rely on hand-attached devices that may compromise user experience. To address aforementioned limitations, we design a learning-based system to decode finger-wise forces from forearm electromyography signals and apply them to the virtual environment in real-time. Our system enables bare hand interactions with virtual objects while providing a natural and intuitive interface for force inputs. It also supports a number of common hand-object interactions, such as pressing, pushing, pinching, and holding. Considering the complex relationship between forearm muscle activations and fingerwise forces, as well as its variations across people, we built a comprehensive training dataset covering common hand object contact patterns, so that our machine learning models can effectively capture this relationship and acquire better generalization capability. In particular, we adopted eight DELCES Trigno sensors for collecting electromyography data and one MorphoSensor trackpad for measuring fingerwise forces. The two modalities were then synchronized using system timestamps. To achieve reasonable latency in real-world applications, we based our system on a lightweight convolutional neural network model with encoder-decoder structure and bottleneck design, as shown in this figure. We performed frequency domain learning by computing the spectrograms of raw electromyography signals and designed a joint classification regression loss tailored to the task. When put into action, the resulting model scans wirelessly streamed electromyography data using a fixed-size sliding window and estimates fingerwise forces on the fly. Remarkably, it can easily run over 1000 FPS on a modern GPU. In addition to achieving favorable performance in a user-independent setting, the model can also be customized, or calibrated, to new users with very limited data from them. Such data efficiency is achieved by transfer learning techniques. Here is a visual comparison between ground truth and predicted force values from a model calibrated using only 165 second data. We also conducted a psychophysical experiment with 12 participants to validate that, compared to position-based interactions where the haptic modality is absent, our method significantly enhances humans' discrimination threshold of physical properties, such as stiffness and elasticity, in the virtual environment. Thanks for watching.